Uh, I won my first nationals. Three guns, two out of the three in, in the three gun. And the thing that, that are good about lever gun is, first of all, you're going to learn how to shoot more tin and rows because it's easier. And tin and rows is a great mental thing. And I mean, mental is where it's at. My first tin and row animal with small board, probably my fourth match into this, was turkeys. And and when you you get them out of the way, you're yeah. bombed by everybody before you even shoot your first match. You already know turkeys are the best target out there, and it's just another target. It is smaller, and if the wind's blowing, but if you're shooting them, if you aim at the middle, you're going to probably hit the turkeys. It's pretty much that simple, you know. So, but yeah, that was, I had guys come up to me and go, "I've been doing this for over 20 years, never shot ten in a row." I go, "Well, this is like my fourth match." <laughs> But uh, anyway, <laughs> well, but it's such a mental block, you know, the first shot, sometimes first shot, that can be really hard. The last shot, it can be really hard. I mean, it's all nothing but a bunch of mental blocks that you do and you just got to get past it. A lot of guys are uncomfortable if they start shooting better than what they've ever shot before. And that's, oh, yeah, that's absolutely. called shooting that's within your comfort zone. That's a killer to start it, adding score. Yeah, well, if you're shooting below it, you're uncomfortable. If you're above it, you're uncomfortable. You gotta learn how to move your comfort zone all the way up near the top. You know, so I still even get uncomfortable. If, I, if I'm like rolling up on a 40, it's like, ah, oh, here we go. Which one am I gonna miss? That kind of, you know, dumb stuff like that. But yeah. But you gotta try to block it out as much as you can. Anything else you got going on? <laughs>